Okay, what we're going to look at now are doing some, some of the drills that we've been uh, referring to that are going to hopefully allow us to be able to incorporate some of the fundamentals that we've been talking about. We use quite a few of these uh, here at the collegiate level with the university, and I've seen a lot of these also used by lots of different programs around. So it's a great way for the high school programs also start building some of the skills uh, that are going to be able to build the, the fundamentals that we went through. And the first one we're going to look at is the uh, the one-step drill, which is a, a very common, widely used drill. Uh, it's a great way to use and or, uh, to feel quite a bit of the fundamentals that we've been talking about from the uh, swing, uh, the body position, the hand position release, all those things like that can be felt quite a bit and quite extensively uh, in the one-step drill. So Austin's going to get his ball. And this is something that, until the players probably do it a time or two, go ahead and take your ball up. We're going to go all the way up to the foul line. You're going to position yourself back far enough that basically you'll be taking that last step, the slide. Okay, Nothing's going to move prior to the swing coming down and back. So it's going to swing down, swing back, and then as we come through, we take that last final step, one step. Like that. So what we allow the, the players to be able to do at that point, then we can see position, balance. Again, we can start working on swing, release all the factors that go with that. So let's do that again, go and get your ball again. One thing you will notice that as Austin's throwing, that the ball's probably going to be hooking a lot more than it needs to. So we're not trying to throw strikes now. That's not the idea behind this. One of the things that you're actually looking for is that you should lose a little bit of speed because you're not using your feet. So that this takes the muscle tension out of the swing. I'm actually trying to avoid that. I don't want to be throwing the bowling ball. I just want to be swinging nice and fluid through that. So down, back, on line, keeping the body in position, anytime. And just good balance coming through, okay, and trying to hold that position. Something else you can work with that, with their finished position, trying to get them to hold that shot all the way through till the ball gets down close to the pins. Again, looking back here a little bit, I can watch body position, see if it's on path with my swing, following that through a little bit, see if there's any movement here kind of watching my back trail leg. So lots of things I can see back here from that position also. Really see that swing path and watch that. You can see that. See if there's any loop back here, any movement back here, early rotation coming through. So it gives you a great visual to be able to show them, especially if you're videotaping at the same time.